To understand carpal tunnel, you really have to understand the, the basic anatomy of the hand. There's several nerves that run into the hand and that, that really power your hand and give you sensation in your hand. One of those big nerves is the median nerve. It runs down the front of your forearm. It runs through your wrist, through the carpal tunnel, which is a, 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 a tunnel that houses the median nerve as well as some of the tendons of the hand. The median nerve runs through that tunnel into the hand, powers some of the muscles in the hand, and gives you sensation in your thumb, index finger, middle finger, and half of your ring finger. So with time, or with uh, different uh, inflammation within the carpal tunnel, you can get pressure on that nerve. With pressure on that nerve prolonged over time, that can actually decrease the amount of vascular blood flow that gets to the nerve. That causes some scarring around the nerve. And over time, that can cause diminished nutrition, which gets into the nerve, and can cause problems. Early on, uh, patients come in with symptoms of numbness and tingling, which may come and go. Oftentimes, they'll get these symptoms at night where they wake up and their fingers are really burning or tingly, and they have to shake them out to get them to wake up. As this progresses in an intermediate phase, they may actually start to get weakness of the hand. And in that advanced stage of carpal tunnel, not only is the hand weak, but they may also get some loss of uh, muscle in the hand as well.